In this review we're taking a look at a trailer model. It's unusual because the real trailer is made by the Taiwanese company RF Trailer Manufacturing. And this model is made by YCC and it comes in a variety of colours. And if we look at the other end of the box we see that this is model 7661, which is the yellow version. YCC has a first class reputation for crane models, so this trailer will be interesting. On the weigh bridge the box weighs one pound three ounces. And that's a bit over half a kilogram. The box itself is a very nice quality. And there's an instruction sheet which seems to have run away. But there's no escape so we've fished it out and we'll look at it again shortly. The packaging material is foam rubber. And after taking out a couple of pieces we see the model and it's wrapped in soft paper. Next we need to employ the giant hand cranes and carefully lift it out. Let's carefully unwrap it from its paper overcoat and then we get our first sight of the trailer and it is indeed in a yellow trim. There's also a bag of parts. Looking at the instruction sheet it shows various arrangements for the king pins and it's great that different pin sizes are provided to enable connection to other manufacturers tractors. On the back side there's a couple of pictures showing a couple of the features. No assembly cause it's complete out of the box. And the model itself weighs about 12 ounces or 350 grams. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc. website. And the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mall. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. Let's start underneath and you can see straight away this is a high quality model. You can see there's some excellent etched grills. And the structure of the trailer has been modelled really well. There's also a full set of hoses in different colours. Things get really intricate when we get to the rear axles. And the tyres are also of very high quality. There's even cabling running to the rear lights. If we look very closely, the leaf spring suspension has been accurately modelled. The trailer has a water tank for the spray system for overheating tyres. And you can see there's even a tiny tap modelled. There are connection points at the front of the gooseneck. And some nice hoses and cables for the spray system. As you can see, all of the hoses from the drum are fully modelled, and the structural parts with the circular holes are beautifully modelled. The perforations continue in the side of the gooseneck, and there's also a high quality graphic, which is presumably the RF Trailer Manufacturing logo. Moving to the inside of the landing leg, and the high quality detailing continues with a winding handle for the landing leg. There's more top notch detailing along the edges of the deck with the tie down loops being separate movable pieces. And the quality of the painting and the graphics here is really good. Also best in class are the replica timbers which look very realistic. Another big plus point is the branding on the tyres and that's because it's full and complete and not just the manufacturer's name. Looking down inside the well between the wheels you can see the high quality castings. At the back the lights and structure are very finely replicated. To start the review of functionality we'll look at the wheels. And each pair of wheels spins independently. There is also suspension implemented on both axles. But that only tells half the story because it is the leaf springs which are actually working. The trailer has a single landing leg and it can be raised and lowered by unscrewing. And the piston has smooth faces. This is a trailer so to put it to work we need to attach a tractor. And out of the box the pin that's fitted is suitable for WSI and IMC models. So the pin connection works perfectly. To tidy up the special hoses and cables we'll run those under the tilting cab. So there we have the trailer fitted, but let's just check the clearances when the cab is turning. And with this Iveco 6x4, the clearances are perfect. 
the trailer suspension is appropriately stiff. So let's put a load on board and we'll start with something small. And a couple of chocks are supplied with the model which you can press into holes in the deck. And they can provide a backstop for wheels or tracks. So here we have a small Hitachi excavator. And that's an easy load for this trailer. Which can be used to carry loads up to a surprising 70 tonnes. As mentioned before, this trailer can be used with a variety of other manufacturers' tractors. A circular spacer is provided in case you need it. And as you can see, there are pins provided for Kencraft, WSI, Techno, NZG and Conrad models. The WSI pin is fitted out of the box, so let's remove that. And it is a precision screw thread which is easily removed. As you can see, you have two possible positions for a kingpin but we'll stick with the front position. And we'll fit a pin suitable for Conrad models. Once again, the trailer just clips in. And again, with the special pin size, the fit is perfect. Now we have a Conrad Mercedes-Benz Actros pulling. And this time we'll load up with a Liebherr road rail excavator. So again, we have a fairly comfortable load for this trailer. Next, we'll go into the big leagues with an NZG Mercedes-Benz Arox 8x4. It's another simple change of the kingpin and we can connect up the Arox to the trailer. And this time we'll load up an Itachi ZX870. This is a bigger excavator, so to get the transport load down, we'll need to remove the bucket. And we'll also detach the rear counterweight. That has the effect of producing a transport load of about 65 tonnes, which is on the upper limit for this trailer. It does fit on and we can see another feature of the trailer, and that's a small fold-out extension which can be used when carrying a long boom excavator. With the Hitachi on board, we can then go on manoeuvres. YCC Models has an excellent reputation, and that shines through in this trailer model. It has top-notch quality and detailing, with very nice functionality to match. It would be great to see what YCC could do with a European trailer, because there's no doubt that this one is excellent.